While exploring the uncharted wilderness in the 1800s, legendary frontiersman Hugh Glass sustains injuries from a brutal bear attack. Fueled by vengeance after his hunting team leaves him for dead, Glass must utilize his survivor skills to hunt down John Fitzgerald, the man who betrayed and abandoned him. This is our review of The Revenant, otherwise known as Passion of the Leonardo DiCaprio. That works. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is The Film Fiends, my name is Prodigy. And I'm Ivan. Uh, we pretty much just finished watching The Revenant. It's a movie directed by Alejandro Gonzalez and uh, Ratu. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher his name yeah. because I do not know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. Intense, intense. It def definitely is very, very, very intense. In short, the last time, I saw a man get his ass kicked this bad in like two and a half hours was in The Passion of the Christ. Well, Leonardo DiCaprio got his ass whipped by a bear. All by that bear. Ooh, I bear. mean, that scene was intense. That, at times it felt uncomfortable. It's like, it's one of those things that I want to just like throw in the towel, like just stop, please, like children are watching. It's just I, it's hard. <laughs> I was actually waiting for say, like round one and then like round two. <laughs> It ruled there was, <laughs> in a way. The the movie was was shot beautifully. Um, I, in the in the pretty much there there's a lot of um film where he's going in a continuous one shot, and it just it works perfectly for this movie. Shades of Birdman. Yes, um, definitely. Which is it, done by the same director. Uh, it's, he uses it, that that continuous shot. Um, and then also uh, his like some tracking shots from like like dollies like just like over the water just, just some of the stuff that, that he did was the shots look really hard so major credit of I me mean, from what I've heard of them shooting it like a lot of the crew just like it was brutal on the crew yeah. just as much as it probably was brutal for glass taking it from that bear in that scene True. but it was just it was rough though and, and you believe it it's it, all of it is shot in natural lighting um, from what I understand, they only use a little bit of lighting during the campfire scenes. To yeah, get, looks, like, like I said, it looks gorgeous. And you were just saying like, it was a brutal, brutal filming. And the acting in this movie is top notch. Tom Hardy, a, a, as always, just, he just, but both him, both both Tom Hardy and Leonardo DiCaprio just completely transform into their characters. Uh, both of them did such a good job, just, just at, from everything on it. Tom Hardy, as as usual, just plays such a good scumbag. He it does. Just like, can't, he just does. like I was thinking like, the exact same thing when I was watching it. Just the way how he's talking before he even says anything, just like his accent, just yeah. like the old school 1800s, just like like chewing on like tobacco or something. Just how he's talking, just like you're a dick. Okay, so the makeup in this movie was spot on, especially after the grizzly attack. I mean, I felt yeah. for Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, the, the cuts were nasty. Just look at Ooh. everything about it that was just like I painful. was cringing. I was like, oof. So the story follows Glass and his son Hawk, a Pawnee Indian, as they're hunters and trappers and they're trapped for the Americans. Um, during the whole course of the story, Hawk is basically discriminated against as not being an American, not being one of them. Well, it, you have this father and son dynamic that while they're hunting at times and Tom Hardy's character, Fitzgerald, is just pushing his buttons, basically telling him to shut the hell up. Um, and every time Hawk wants to actually go out and speak for himself, he was gonna have to cut him down. From the beginning, you already, you're establishing this bond between father and son. But right, at this point in the video, we are gonna go into kind of a spoiler territory. So with Tom Hardy's character, um, while Leonardo Carver is obviously in a fever, he's he's he pretty much has no type of energy. He sees Tom Hardy take his knife and stab his son. His son, and he, he can't speak. 
Because the bear basically slashed his mm -hmm. throat. His <laughs> jug out. He, he, so he's just, he's that dying. Scene. He, he could barely breathe as it is. He's wheezing the whole time. It's basically, he's just, he's a mess. He's a wreck at this he point. Is. So, it, and he can't do anything but watch. And this is already after the point that, um, that Fitzgerald is already kind of pushing for him, trying to be like, you just need to die. Pretty like, much. We're just retired over here. You know, just, I mean, he's even telling him why he's laying there. He's like, just hey, like, just you blink just, your just eyes. <laughs> that right there is just, he keeps on finding new levels to reach <laughs> scumbag levels. It keeps on this achievement unlocked, dirtbag, <laughs> achievement unlocked, scumbag, achievement unlocked, you're going to hell. It's a, it's an ultimate steering contest at that point. So this pretty much all leads up to them taking Glass's body and putting it into a man-made, half-assed, very poorly done grave. <laughs> yeah, just kicks off. Just kick dirt on him. Leonardo DiCaprio pretty much has to nurse himself back to life because he's on the verge. Dude dies almost like five times in this movie. He's, he's got a lot of lives. He's got that Konami code. And, it, and it, for me, once it hits this spot, hits this part, it's like a long stretch of repetitiveness. Pretty much, um, it's him sleeping and then him getting up, crawling. But the most exciting sleeping you'll ever see. It's like kind of the same thing kept happening, happening, and happening. This man is basically dying over and over again. He's Kenny from the South Park. <laughs> yeah, Q Evanescence, wake me up. <laughs> right now. <laughs> that whole horse scene where he's riding on the horse and basically off the cliff. And that horse is just done. Yeah, uh, how does that horse just committed suicide? <laughs> so even when it's not Leo himself or Glass himself, I, I have been sitting there in front of the screen having to watch this poor horse just gallop directly off of the cliff. And then when that wasn't enough, he makes use of the horse, and then the horse becomes his bed. And then that's when it becomes the most hey, exciting thing. It was scene cold. You, gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do when it's cold like that. Leo I think I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Glass got all up inside that horse. He did. <laughs> And that final fight scene was intense. What I liked about that is just it was ugly. And Ready. it was not a Hollywood style it fight scene wasn't. whatsoever. It was sloppy, it was ugly. It Blood was gets stabbed in the leg. Basically something that you would just see in, in real life on World Star or something. Just, <laughs> World just, Star! World Star! You believe on Tom Hardy. Oh snap, son! Yeah, that was, there was a lot of blood. You have all these white snow and just like this beautiful backdrop and of everything. The blue sky, just the whole winter scenario, and then just fight blood down. spray all over the place, like 300. And even actually in this scene, and I, and, and I, know, I noticed it kind of in other scenes too, was when he was fighting, with Tom Hardy, actually a little bit of blood counts on the lens. I didn't even pick up and I, I like that. It comes to a point where like you, you're even like wondering like, I don't even know how this is gonna come out. Like uh, I'm sitting over there thinking like both of them are gonna be done by the end of this. Like this is just not gonna end happy. Everything was shot just like wonderfully. The acting of course is always top notch. That bear needs an Oscar. Um, <laughs> aside from that bear though, uh, definitely Leo's gonna get nominated. Uh, yes. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna win though. This I still I don't, don't know. know if this is gonna be easier. That 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 empty spot in this shelf may still be there, unfortunately. And I would love to see that. him take take it home. I would love to see him take it home. Tom Hardy though, he did. I won't be surprised if Tom Hardy ends up getting it, at least for support. Yes. For supporting actors. Tom Hardy did phenomenal. But both of those guys just it was like this, this was this was like a fight that I wanted to see on screen when he put this Leo and Tom Hardy together and they're face to face off. Like that that's a fight that you wanna see like more than like Pacquiao and Mayweather. Except in that there was no hugging fight. whatsoever. <laughs> no hugging. This this actually lived up to the hype. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven. Seven out of ten. Good. Um say for me I really enjoyed the movie. It was shot beautiful. The thing for me was the repetitiveness. Like, you know, I don't I don't mind repetitive but it was just it was too prolonged for me and when something did happen it was exciting it was just too far in between um, so for me I would have to give it a 7.5 all right guys that's a review of the Revenant and if you enjoyed us two schmucks reveling on incoherently for this review just hit the like and subscribe buttons until then have a fantastic day Ugh.
Oh God! That's what the hell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>